the approval of an extension of time for a heritage incentive grant for five Norwich Quay. So it's simply an extension of time for this. Um, council have already approved it. It's just that the people doing the work, it's taken a lot longer and more difficult than they anticipated. <clears throat> so we're talking about the what was the previously the Littleton Harbour Board building um, in replacement of a whole upper story of that. And um, so it's, again, the, the same um, provisions apply um, as, I refer, as we referred to in the, the previous item. And so. there's a, a second delegation here, which is the delegation to the committee to approve extensions of up to five years for the uptake of heritage incentive grants, which again, I mean, in, in line with the conversation we've just That's had, right. I very, very much support. Yep. Um, do I have a seconder? Oh, a question. Okay. A question too, sorry. Um, who would like to second it? Andrew would like to second it. Norwich Key. Is that in your patch? Correct. Uh -huh. um, Mike and then Dion. Thank you. I just got a quick question on that second resolution, and I don't have too much of an issue, but I'm just wondering why five years, which obviously makes it roll over election and terms, and which over and over long term plans. I'm just wondering why we well, why would do that and not just do it to the end of the actual <coughs> election cycle, term cycle? And if there's any impact from doing it? Right. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got an answer to it, but Brendan, have you got um, a view? Or Well, five years, yeah, five years is quite a long time, and, and it, may cause, it may cause accounting issues, um, for one thing. Um, but... What, we, what we're finding is that the work that's coming out of, of the grant schemes now, um, or, or is being funded by the grant schemes, is a lot more complicated than the grant scheme was originally intended. It was, it was originally just to, for, for maintenance and conservation works to existing buildings. Now we're dealing with repairs and uh, seismic upgrades to damaged buildings, and the work's much more complicated. And we're finding that 18 months uh, invariably is, is, is a hard time frame for people to meet. Um, by the time they've, they've planned it, they've got their, their engineering in place, their architectural drawings in place, and actually started the work, 18 months is really tight, for, even for relatively small projects. So a lot of them are coming back for extensions of time. And normally we ask for, a, for at least a year in terms of the extension of time. So I, I don't maybe maybe something like two years would be a, um, a, a better... Um, about a time frame. We, we would like people to actually make, make sure that people do the work. So maybe giving them five years might be too much because they might just sit back and think, oh, we've got five years, let's take it easy. But we want them to actually do the work. Yeah. So, Is it okay with the mover and the second day? Yep. Dion, you had a question? Yeah, I just wanted to ask about the, um, the ongoing maintenance of these, this building in particular and others that need these extensions of time. Um, do you check to make sure that they are keeping them like weather tight and stuff, so that there's um, not ongoing deterioration of them? Well, that's, an, that's that's a different issue. I mean, all buildings have to meet the building code, so and, and the building code has provisions in it for for the long the long life of of the components of the buildings. They have to meet the building code. I think it's 50 years. So there, there is maintenance, um, standard maintenance that you have to do to any building. Um, it varies, obviously, with the type of materials that you've got on the building. Um, but uh, repainting, I mean, the, the previous grant was a, an example of that, where um, a, a painted building has to be repainted every, probably every 15 to 20 years. So that, that's a fairly standard maintenance issue. We, we don't monitor that, but what, what obviously I monitor is the works that are going on that are funded as part of the grant. It's up to the building owner then to ensure that the, the investment is protected through the uh, through the maintenance, the long-term maintenance of the building. We will certainly help them with a, a long-term maintenance plan if they if they uh, choose to do that. We've done that on other other grant-assisted projects. Cool. That's good. All right. So, I'll, um, Andrew. Thank you. If I can just speak to this briefly. Um, this is a significant building in Littleton and of course in a context of Littleton having lost a lot of its heritage as a result of the earthquakes. Um, this building is on Norwich Quay which is the main state highway that goes to the port gates. That's an area which over time has seen um, loss of a number of other buildings and an increased industrial creep because of the, the port operations. This building actually forms part of a, or potentially could form part of a heritage precinct um, with this 
this building on the one corner, the old British Hotel on the um, opposite corner, and the Littleton Times building next door. So a, a significant heritage um, feature because of its location and because of its proximity to other remaining heritage in Littleton. We're fortunate here to have a building owner who took steps to preserve the building in its damaged state and certainly fortunate to have a building owner who's willing to invest in the future of this building given its prominence and significance to the um, history of that lower part of Littleton. So I'm strongly supportive of this. All right, I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. All those opposed say no. That's carried.